That's why, if I could just cast StarCraft as my job, then everything else would be way easier to handle. It'd be so much more time. Maybe one day. In the meantime, let's actually cast some StarCraft. Spawning in the upper right-hand corner of Alcyone, we've got Dragon Kitesy Gaming's Dark. One of the frequent champions of the KSL last year. Seeing if he can get to yet another finals and maybe take the victory in 2024. His opponent in the lower left-hand corner took down Parting last week. See if he can take down another fan favorite here. It is Coffee. It's a me, a coffee. A simple life we lead as an SCV. Oh man. Are those lyrics to the SCV love song? I remember that. It's been so long since I listened to that song. That is, <laughs> I'm digging in my brain for that one right now. Glad to see Twitch chat is, is cultured and knows all the good songs from back in the day. Uh -huh. What's my job? I work in a grocery store. I am in. I work in the meat department. I cut meat. That is my day job. It's very exciting. Coffee trying to get some kills here, but Dark a little too good, saving all those drones, keeping them alive, even keeping the Lings alive against Coffee's Reaper. Coffee though, showcasing some nice Reaper control to start things off. And dropping a third CC, so this is gonna be a pretty classic TVZ here out of Coffee. Now, if Coffee was playing like Solar, I'd be pretty stoked on this, cause Solar's quite good, but Solar's not gonna like just kill ya. So that means we'd get a nice macro game, we get to see like really what Coffee can do. However, Coffee is not playing Solar or, you know, really any of the other Zergs. It's playing Dark. And what Dark is probably gonna do is make a lot of Roach and just kill Coffee. I feel like that's the simplest game plan here for Dark. And, you know, Dark's a simple man. He leads a simple life full of Roaches. Just chock full of them so i mean i'm expecting a roach war now we're at four minutes i don't see one yet we have no lair yet really much of an indication of where dark is gonna go from here but we'll just keep an eye out as coffee starts poking and prodding doesn't once again denied the kill on that drone dark just too good of course the cloak banshees here for coffee are gonna help him against any very early roaches. If there were roaches already coming across the map, these banshees would be crucial. But again, Dark being very patient with his uh, with his roaches here. I'm just assuming he's gonna go roaches. My big assumption for Dark in this game is that he's gonna just try to kill Coffee with a bunch of roaches. We'll see if I'm vindicated or not. Oh, what's that? What's that, guys? Does Streamer know what he's talking about? Could he possibly know what he's talking about? It is double Evo, so Dark, he's going to macro it out. Double NG Bay going down for coffee at around the same time. So at least the game is going to last another few minutes. Dark's starting to get those roaches going to help push away these Hellions. There's quite a few Hellions out with this Reaper leading the charge. And the Banshees are going to make their way across the map, making their way downtown, and try to blast some drones. Flying fast, trying to blast some drones. That's a banger. 1,000 miles. Woo. 
that's a good one. Shout out, Vanessa Carlton. Coffee not able to get to the drone line, but does force a cancel on that fourth base, so it's gonna be kind of annoying for Dark, who is trying to deal with this. Doesn't have that mobile detection just yet. I don't know where the Overseer is. There it is. As the Hellions try to dive in, they are gonna kill these links and then make their way down towards the third base, but the Roaches are popping out. They'll get a couple of hits on the drones. It looks like two, three drones going down, and that will be about it as Dark takes them out another cancel on the fourth base though that is two fourth base cancels for dark as he goes up to 70 drones he's really gonna need to have fourth base going soon roach is starting to move across the map see if they can't get something done here coffee does have a tank up though and a handful of marines out front with a medevac and stim so these roaches yeah, they gotta be a little careful one's gonna go down right away good catch there from coffee gets a second one and then the Roach is going to get drawn into tank range here momentarily. And that's going to be enough to force Dark back. The Roaches have speed, so they can retreat a little more easily. He did all that without speed or 1-1. One, one. He's, he's actually a crazy man. Oh, and finally the Banshees have made their way into the drone line. Getting a few more drone kills. Trying to keep that drone count low of his opponent. Ten drones have gone down. And Coffee feeling safe after pushing away those roaches is going to go clear some creep on the top side of the map here. I love that he's just taking the fight to these roaches. Dark's going to save one of them. I guess a few of them by morphing them into Ravagers, but I like that Coffee is just focusing down individual roaches, trying to trade with those as much as he can in these engagements. Fourth base is finally up and running, but Coffee's done a great job keeping up in the worker count. It's 78 to 72. And now he's got the pressure on in two locations. The Roaches are here to force the pickup on this side, but some creep was cleared. Oop. Looks like these are going to try to head towards the main. Coffee, though, not handling this group, and I feel like this group, if it pushed in right now, that could be deadly to Dark. Could absolutely get some damage done, or at least... Clear some of this creep. Dark is now thinking about it, though. He's sending some reinforcements that way to try to help out against this as he pushes away the drop in the main. Oh, Queen a little bit brazen there. Here comes Coffee on the other side, but again with those reinforcements. Not going to get too much done, but Coffee, he's got his own reinforcements, and he's pushing across the map straight through the middle. Roaches and Ravager is going to find this mid-map, and oh, some Biles landing really nicely there, hitting quite a bit. But Coffee's got so many Marines with this, and there's no Banelings here at all. There's nothing really anti-Marine. This force from Coffee is very scary. Whoa, Dark's going to try to jump on it, though. Another Bile does hit a tank. These tanks all taking some damage. But still so many Marines out front. The tanks sieging up in the back, not getting Bile down. Dark... Not able to land those Biles back there. It looks like many of the Marines have been trimmed off, though. Some more reinforcements coming out, but Ling's coming out as well. Down go those two front tanks. The back tanks are holding on, getting some kills. But they will be not long for this world. Coffee's going to lift up the two tank reinforcements and get out of there. But all the Marines went down. And Dark holds on. Very similar economies, but look at Dark's army supply here as he just pumps out roaches and roaches and roaches. And the danger here for Coffee is that now he's got to be defensive. He's got to stay back and be defensive. And this is giving Dark a chance. Dark, of course, during all of that, got to Hive because he's Dark. And that's what he does. So he's got a couple of Vipers on the way already. But this is going to allow him to just saturate this base. He's got some more drones out up to 80. The Vipers will be able to gain some energy. Things like Adrenal will be able to get started. Coffee's moving out again with another little double drop here, but it looks like he's going to run into some roaches unwittingly. Just try to clear some creep before getting out of there. Liberator tries to siege up in the main base, but it gets shoved away as well. Uh, I love that Dark already had the Sport Crawler in motion before the Liberator even got there. He just knew where the siege up spot was going to be. He was ready. He was ready to go. Now, Coffee's 2-2 is done. 
That being said, Dark has plus three carapace halfway done and his plus two missile attacks about to finish up. I think Dark is in a pretty solid spot upgrades wise. He's gonna try to clear these rocks and get on in there. Sees this little move out on the map. He wants to push that away first. There are some Vipers out. We could see Parasitic Bombs on the Metavacs. Uh, it's a very popular thing to do in this matchup lately. Uh, I feel like I've seen so many Parasitic Bombs on Metavacs. It's actually kind of funny. Ooh, the Banelings are here now, too. How many Banes we have in this army? 23, 22. Coffee is going to push these Roaches away for now. But there is another little squad of units up here that could come down and join up. Coffee's fourth base is set up, though. He's got a fifth started. He's cleared a lot of the creep. Dark's creep barely hitting halfway and only in one little lane here. It's so far back on the top side. There's basically nothing on the bottom side. Coffee's done a fantastic job keeping that creep back. And Dark, while I like his position, Coffee's at 185 supply. And he's got a triple drop heading towards the bottom side. He is trying to move out to the top side. And I think Dark is going to spot this and try to jump on top of it. Tanks... Siege up on the low ground. I don't think Dark realizes how many tanks are down here, and he needs to not engage into that. But that leaves the fourth base a little bit exposed. Speaking of exposed bases, though, Coffee's going to get on top of this fifth base of Dark and knock it down. And while Dark does have a six, that's super exposed now, too. This one just started, and that's going to be forced to cancel as the tanks are about to show up at it. The triple drop moves into the base, the fourth base, and it is forced to pick up. But only 200 hit points left on this guy. Ah, uh, it looks like, though, these medevacs are not long for this world, which means these marines are on a suicide mission, so Coffee going to lose all this supply, but more than that, all this pressure on this side of the map. And now, as the tanks siege up here, these are very scary, but Dark has two full energy vipers. He can absolutely just yoink some of these forward, or just go for the blinding clouds. That's what he's going to do. He drops four, five blinding clouds and blinds almost all of the siege tanks here. He will clean this up effortlessly. And that's the real problem there. Coffee losing that triple drop on the other side of the map meant Dark could focus his entire army over here. And now he just cleaned up all those tanks and all that bio, and he's gonna keep on pushing. Definitely will be able to stop this base. Look at the 51 morphing Banelings. Oh my God. Some Ravagers are gonna get jumped on. But I feel like Dark is, oh, he's in a great spot right now. The Vipers are just going to dive forward. They're going to try to get some Blinding Clouds. No, they go for the Yoinks this time. It's only two sieged up tanks. Baneling's going to run forward into the Mineral Line and blast the Planetary as well as the 21 SCVs. And the army is getting swallowed up as Dark takes game number one. GG, man. Honestly, a really nice game from Coffee. But it, it's just like Dark holds on and waits for that moment when Coffee makes a mistake. It's not even a huge mistake, but just enough of a mistake where then Dark can just swoop in and finish the game off. And that triple drop going into the main base, all of those Marines going down, all of those Medivacs dying, it meant that Dark could just F2 everything to defend the other side. And that's exactly what he did. He went, held on down there, killed the tanks, and then pushed right on into coffee. Very straightforward at the end of that game. But honestly, a very solid macro game from coffee. He's, he's a very good Terran player. I feel like coffee is one of those players that gets underrated. I certainly underrate him quite a bit. But he's got some good games. He's capable of some solid play. It would be cool to see him take a map off of Dark. That'd be a nice little upset. The Dollar Admiral, good to see you. Tater Tutor, Frabja's Day. I realize I didn't go live on YouTube today. I'm really missing a step there. Missing a trick. Let's hop in to game number two. As we spawn into Site Delta, in the upper left-hand corner, it is Dragon Kites' Dark. His opponent in the lower right, 
It is uh, coffee. Chicken man, chicken man, chicken man, 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 man. The Dollar Admiral hitting that prime sub button. Thank you so much, my friend. I hope you're having a lovely Friday evening. I know that my Friday evenings are always made better by the KSL. I'm sad that we've we've had to, you know, go down to every other week KSL for the time being while the Patreon is a little bit low to keep it going every week. But what am I going to do every other week when there's no KSL? What am I going to do with myself? Maybe that's when I'll be able to put on some like zero space streams or something. I wonder if there's an observing mode for zero space. I'll have to double check. It might be fun to put on a, t a little show match tournament. See if we can't get some uh, some good players into a zero space tournament because that's free to stream until the 22nd of this month. I do want to put on a Stormgate tournament too as soon as that's possible. But that is not currently right now. But a little a cheeky little zero space tournament could be fun. There is an observer mode in zero space. Okay, good. I haven't looked into that. I've played a few games, but I haven't looked into the observing. Um and what the capabilities are of it. I'll have to check it out. I also haven't tested it on streaming. I know that like sometimes with newer games, especially ones that are still in production, there can be a lot of performance issues um, that can make it really tough to stream those early access games. But I know a handful of streamers were streaming Zero Space uh, earlier today, in fact. So I imagine it's got to be pretty decent. Yeah, you know, I hope everybody's having a great 2024. We have entered the new year. We are five days into it here as we cast this KSL. And I hope it's been good for everybody. I have no complaints about the 2024 as of yet. Coffee continuing to try to be cheeky here. There's quite a few lings out for Dark, and Speed is close to finishing. Can this Reaper escape? Honestly, I'd be very impressed if it did, because there is another Queen down here. Nice dodge on the Reaper grenade, and it looks like that is going to be it. Oh, there's another Queen. Yeah, that is, that is it for sure, as this Queen gets the alley-oop around the corner. I don't think that Reaper killed anything. Oh, you know what? It killed two Lings. All right. Never mind. That was a good Reaper. Good job, Reaper. The Hellions are going to dive out now and see if they can't get something done. But the Lings are going to be able to sneak in because of that. These four Lings just going to get right on in. And the SCVs run away immediately to the safety of the two popping out Hellions. Nicely done by Coffee. Good timing there for Coffee. These two aliens are just going to go straight in since most of the lings left. There are still a few lings back at home, but three drones went down to that. A couple were saved, but even that costs some money to dark, so I feel like that's worth it. Coffee able to kill a few lings and a few drones for some spore crawler morphs and cancels. You're retiring from the military this year. Well, congratulations, Rob. Congrats on making it through. I don't know how long you've been in there. But getting to retire, that's that's gotta be a nice feeling. That's like a that's a success. It must be nice to know you can retire. I don't know what that's like. I'm expecting to just work until I die. <laughs> at this point. I mean, we'll see, you know, who knows? Maybe uh, maybe the world will end and I won't have to worry about it. Honestly, might not be too bad if I end up just having to like farm and live in the old ways after a, you know, big disaster. Could handle that. 
That might be better than working like a nine to five. Coffee is again gonna force a cancel on this fourth base. It's very consistent. Dark just trying to brazenly take that, but Coffee going for the um, the double cloak Banshee here. I like that Coffee's doing this. So I've seen a lot of players um, kind of skimp out on this, where they'll either do like one Banshee, no cloak, or just go for a Liberator. I've seen that quite a bit too. I think you get some players that's okay and that's doable. But against Dark, I really feel like if you're not going double cloak Banshee, you're missing a step. Because Dark's the kind of player that will just try to kill you with a bunch of roaches. If you don't have that double cloak Banshee, you'll die to it. So I, I like that we're seeing Coffee do this. I think it shows the appropriate amount of amount of respect for Dark. He's gotten six kills over here as well. The Hellions get pushed back. The Ling's not able to find anything as the third base has not landed over there just yet. Well, Banshee comes back in, gets another kill. Gonna go for the Queen, gets the Queen. And now the other queen's got to come up and protect these drones. This is a lot of lost mining time, though. Coffee doing a great job with these banshees. Lost a few Hellions, but, I mean, this seems well worth it. Now, those Hellions did not come home to help defend this base, which I feel like might be a problem as the Lings are in a very large number. But, you know what? There are a lot of Marines here with two medevacs. And I think that's going to be just fine for Coffee. Hellions will go in. They're going to make their presence known by hitting this hatchery. As Coffee moves around the top side, he's going to jump on top of these Banelings. Dark Force to cancel all those Banes. He's got 30 more Lings on the way, though. It's a huge amount of Lings. He's sending a bunch into counterattack towards this third base. Oh, I think he needs to get in there. It is fresh and open. The Hellbats morph down here to fight against the Queens. I guess that will draw them away and allow this fourth base to die. But it looks like that's about all Dark's going to get down here. Just trading with some Queens. The Lings in the meantime do kill six SCVs. But Coffee is going to defend his third. He kills the fourth and he's going to keep on pushing. And I think this might be an overextension because Dark... He's going to full surround with the Lings and Banes, and he is just going to smash this. The tanks go down. The Marines lift up and go into the main base, but they are not likely to be able to stick around very long. I think Coffee's just going to have to get on out of here with the damage he's gotten done. But he did kill the fourth base. The drone count is only 68 to 62 SCVs, and while Dark is making a bunch more drones, there's another little drop down here that could threaten. This one's going to go ahead and kill the Overlord at the top side. And I, I like this position for Coffee. He's poking on both fronts. The Marines are actually not in the medevacs, so Dark was ready for those Marines to drop out. Instead, they'll trade with a few Lings before picking up. Just trying to be annoying over here. Put some pressure onto that fourth. At the same time, Coffee on the top side. Going to focus fire a Baneling, but decides not to go for any more. Picks up and leaves. Oh, wait, what? There's a swarm host. Hold on, it's just one, right? All right, the accidental swarm host from Dark is going to burrow out here and just throw some locusts at Coffee. Just to just to mess with them, just to confuse them a little bit. I love it. Coffee again, focusing down a couple of Banes there, gets out. This is nice. This is what Coffee needs to do. He's not losing anything. He's cleared some creep, trading with some Lings and even Banelings. Keeping most of these Marines alive. Oh, oh, wait, coffee. <laughs> right as I say it, he just loses a bunch of Marines, but still taking an okay trade there, I think. And keeping the pressure on Dark. Losing the drop in the last game was a big part of the reason why Dark ended up winning. But so far, coffee has been very good at being efficient with these, and now the drones all have to pull away from this base as it is absolutely going to go down. The tanks have sieged up on the high ground. Dark's base is not done up here. It's barely even started. Which means Dark is knocked back to three bases at this point. And Coffee's fourth is finishing up, but he's close to having a fourth base. This is a real problem for Dark. Coffee, though, he's going to keep pushing it again. I wonder if this is an overextension. Good focus fire on the Banes, though, and there's not a lot more Banes behind this. A few do roll in. 
They're going to get blasted by the tanks, so the Marines are going to handle a lot of these Lings. A few more Ling reinforcements do show up, though. That's going to clean this up. But that was a much more efficient fight for Coffee than it really should have been. Dark was so disjointed there. Lings and Banes trickling in one or two at a time, and now Coffee has the supply lead. Even as Ultras start up, the supplies are very, very close right now. And Coffee's going to keep reinforcing. Now, he is just building Marines against a Zerg that's got Ultras popping. And he's going to spot this first Ultra and be a little bit sad about it. So we see drones transferring across. Ooh, the Ultra trying to chunk through some of these tanks. But as all the Lings die, that Ultra is in danger. And Coffee's going to keep the pressure on. I think this is absolutely the right call. Dark, he's in kind of a bad spot right now economically. Finally getting back to mining with all these drones. But his mining was abysmal for a while there. And Coffee's just going to keep this pressure on. He sees a second Ultra but he's got these three tanks to fall back to. Ooh, at the same time though, this fourth tries to land and the Ling counterattack is gonna come on over here and kill a bunch of SCVs. Actually, more SCVs transferring over and dying. Eight of them going down in total. Coffee again pushes forward with the Marines, which don't do a ton to the Ultras, but over time they can chip away at them. The Lings will get mostly taken out. As more locusts come in, I love this swarm host. Just sending in locusts. Dark, too good. Some reinforcements getting caught in the middle of the map here. Adrenal must be done because these lings are looking strong. The one tank against the ultra. We know how that goes. Ultra's pretty good at the game. Two ultras, a bunch of queens for transfuse against some marines. Tanks are going to unseed to move forward. There's a Liberator as well. Dark continuing to send units across the map. The Ultra is going to stay alive as the Lings are getting in. Oh, no. Plus three attack. Oh, it's so close. Oh, it will live. It looks like these reinforcements saving it. So plus three attack will finish up for Coffee. But while this push is still being annoying over here, it hasn't killed the base. It hasn't killed the drones. And Dark just continually sending units across the map. He's cracking in. He's getting right in. The third base getting decimated. Oh, the SCVs. Oh, man. AOE on this Ultra. 50 SCVs going down. And despite a very promising section of the mid game there for Coffee, as he kept pushing and kept trying to kill Dark, it's like Dark just slipped around him. He was like, come on in. And then he just gave a big hug. The Ultras and Lings getting into the base. In the meantime, Coffee just couldn't quite crack the transfused Ultras at the 4th. Turns out Queens and Ultras is a great combination when you're trying to defend. And Dark, down, I think, 20 supply at one point in that game. By the skin of his teeth, holds on, gets through. He's just too good, man. He's just too good.